Question 18. The table shows some information about the heights in centimetres of 100 students. The first task is to find the class interval in which the median lies. Now there's 100 students, so we're looking for where the 50th student lies. So if we look at the frequencies, um, we can see that 8 students are in the first frequency um, interval. Another 16 are in the next uh, interval, so that's 24 students. We now have another 25, which takes us up to the 49th student in the 140 to 150. So we haven't got the 50th yet. The 50th will come in the next 30. It'll actually be the first of the next 30. And so it's in the interval H is greater than or equal to 150, less than 160. So we simply need to write that to get the answer. So the answer is H greater than or equal to 150, less than 160. You might, um, if you like, want to write the cumulative frequencies in so you can see that more clearly. 20, um, 8 in the first interval, 24 up to the second, 20, 40, or should I say 49, up to 150, and there your 50th is certainly going to therefore be in the 150 to 160. Now, on to the um, calculating the mean height. So for the mean height, we need the midpoints of our intervals. So I'll just call them um, midpoint, MP. And so we're looking at 125, 135, 145, 155, and so on. And the method here is to multiply your frequency times your midpoint to get a total. So we'll do that next. So I've done 8 times 125, 16 times 135, and so on. Uh, so this, est this is the estimate of the total height of the eight people who are between 120 and 130 and so on. Simply need to add this column up to give us a total of 14,900. So that's the estimate of the total height of the 100 students. So we take, one, take that total and divide by the number of students. And you don't really need to do that with a calculator. We'll just lose our noughts. And the mean height, therefore, is 149 centimetres. And that's your answer.